have now, he will always in the future make sure you have more than enough. Amen? It's time to change our mindset and think like God. Amen? Amen. Shout, I'm a giver. I didn't say giver. I said give up. I'm from Boston. Shout, I'm a giver. I have a testimony for you. My sister is going to come on up, and uh, she wants to give you a testimony. She moved here and got married, and, and God, they've been praying and believing God. She left a really good-paying job up in Maine to come down here, and, 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 and she has a quick testimony for you. When I moved here, I took a $3.75 cut in pay. And this week, I received a $3.75 raise. Amen. They were believing God that their insurance could be paid. And they were tight with having to pay their insurance out of what they were making. And so they prayed, they seated, and they're faithful tithers. And God blessed them with a raise that is absolutely unheard of. How many of you have ever, no, we won't ask that. Today I have a challenge for you. This is not a quick, rich scheme. This is God's word. I challenge you, if you are not a tither, to start being a tither this week. If you are a tither, I challenge you to ask the Holy Spirit what he would have you give above and beyond as a seed. For it's everything that you need is in the seed. And when you do that, even if it's 25 cents, we give above our tithes every single week. Why? Because I want a perpetual harvest. If I plant, I grow. If I plant a seed, I'm going to get a harvest. But if you plant nothing, you'll get nothing. Turn to someone and say, I want something. Some of you need a new car. Some of you need a new house. Some of you have been believing God for a mate. Some of you have been believing God for new jobs or you've had entrepreneurial desires and you've always wanted to do it, but you've never had enough to step out in faith. Today's your day to start believing God for greatness in your life. You're sitting in a place that even 12 years ago, we were at the Holiday Inn in Horseheads. But you are sitting where you're sitting today because of a massive amount of people that have faith in this room to believe God, <laughs> to believe God for greatness. Say amen, to believe God for greatness. And I believe without a shadow of a doubt that the Holy Spirit wants to do abundantly above all you could even ask or imagine. And it's time to be a believer and not a doubter. Say amen. And no matter where you are in this line of prosperity, if he can trust you with where you're at, He was counting his corn. <laughs> if God can trust you where you're at. If God can trust you. Where you're at. See, they, this, this one failed because they weren't good givers. If God can trust you with where you're at. There's nothing he can't do. Amen? I said amen!